California's 2017 wildfire season proved the most destructive on record, when nearly 9,000 wildfires burned 1.2 million acres of land. The tools that the LA County Fire Department used to fight those fires include the Sikorsky S-70 Firehawk, a variant of the UH-60 Blackhawk. The department has flown the Firehawk since the year 2000 and recently added two S-70Is to their fleet of three S-70As. At the Heli Expo show, Battalion Chief Pat Sprangle and Senior Pilot Mike Sagely explain the capabilities of this multi-role machine. Primarily, we're going to use these aircraft for wildland firefighting, for hoist rescue, for uh, medical transport to specialty centers such as a trauma center, and then uh, we can also use it as a command aircraft if needed. Generally, most of these aircraft are going to get about 300 hours of flight a year, so this particular aircraft has close to 3,900 hours of flight. The nice thing about the Sikorsky Firehawk is the ability to drop 1,000 gallons at a time. The challenges that we had this year during the fire seasons were a wind that lasted for two weeks straight, Santa Ana winds for us. And we're talking 50 to 70 mile an hour winds. Without the amount of aircraft that we have, without the amount of deliver, the amount of water that we want to, there's no way we're going to be able to control those types of fires and those types of scenarios. The Scorsi Fire Rock allows us to get that early attack on a fire and that early punch with consistently dropping 1,000 gallons of water at a time. So what we're looking at here, which is the most unique part of the S-70 Firehawk is the modified extended landing gear here that elevates the aircraft high enough to put the 1,000 gallon tank and attaching to belly mounts on it. So there are four hard points that mount the tank physically to the aircraft. A little further back here you're looking at a retractable snorkel which is a very unique feature to this aircraft. It allows us to fly at high speed back and forth to the fire. Once we get to the water source, the snorkel comes down electrically into the water. We activate the snorkel and then we begin to take on the water. The tank has a maximum capacity of 1,000 gallons, which typically takes about 60 seconds to fill. The doors on it are hydraulically operated and allow us to produce a drop pattern with the water that is exceptionally unique to other systems that are out there. It can be adjusted from within the cockpit to set a coverage level so you can have a longer water drop pattern or you can open the doors all at once and have all of the water exit at one point. Produces a tremendous amount of what we call head pressure, which is very good at penetrating medium to heavy brush and actually getting water through the fuels and into the bed or the base, allowing us to be pretty effective with uh, putting, you know, putting out the fire. One of the other missions that we do are uh, technical rescues, and we use the Breeze Eastern hoist system on the aircraft, and what that allows us to do is fly into very remote areas and actually not have to land the helicopter and still be able to pick up a patient and transport them to a trauma center. One of the big advantages that we have with a Firehawk is the power and performance that this aircraft has over other helicopters. It allows us to do rescues at much higher elevations, especially in the summertime when the temperatures are very high. And anyone who understands the performance of helicopters or aircraft know that the higher you go in elevation and the higher the temperature, the performance begins to have a degradation. Our other aircraft, which we use in some instances, is not able to affect those rescues because of those conditions. And we have to call this aircraft in specifically to accomplish that task. Now what you're looking at now is the interior cabin of the aircraft. And again, we have some unique features that we designed specifically for LA County in this aircraft. We don't have all the equipment on board that we typically carry, but we have some of the main components of it. We've got a trauma bag, we've got various pieces of rescue gear and equipment, and these are the, the actual litters that we put the patient on and secure them when we transport an injured or a trauma patient. And you can see we've got suction, we've got 110 power, and we also have oxygen. So one of the primary missions that we do is uh, trauma transport. We can easily take two trauma patients on the med bed. We can also put a third one in if needed. Uh, we've had some very unique operations where we've actually had not medical patients, but as many as 21 individuals in the aircraft for a rescue scenario. Now when we have multiple patients back here, we have one paramedic. The other paramedic that typically sits up front then gets in the back to assist with medical care as we transport them to the trauma centers within the Los Angeles Basin area. 
This aircraft can go from essentially one end of the county to the other in well under 25 minutes. Even though we're geographically situated to where we never really ask an aircraft to do that. So this aircraft brings something a little bit unique to the county because we're so large. The, the speed and range, the fuel load capability of the aircraft allows us to, to work very rapidly, work over long distances, carry multiple patients. Uh, one of our missions is uh, out at Catalina Island, which is 22 miles offshore. A lot of people don't realize that Catalina Island is actually a part of Los Angeles County. So we service that as well. So we fly from the ocean to the tops of the mountains, 10,000 foot mountains, out to the high desert area. Uh, one of the things that we do very routinely is we uh, carry uh, children, or PEDS, we call them, PEDS patients, from the Antelope Villa, Valley area all the way across the mountains into Children's Hospital, which is in the center right by downtown LA. It's a significant distance, and if they had to do that by vehicle, that would be a substantial problem. So we can get them there from pickup to the actual helipad in uh, well under 15 minutes. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.